Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you how to quickly set up your Tendai Wi-Fi router using the Tendai Wi-Fi app on your smartphone so it will be up and running quickly. In my example, I'll be using the standard RX9 Pro router. This is an AX3000 router, but the instructions I'm gonna show you will also apply to all Tenda routers. I'll be covering the following topics. I'm gonna show you how to connect the router to your ISP's modem. I'm gonna show you also how to install the Tenda Wi-Fi app on your smartphone and how to connect to the default SSID and configure the router. So let's start first by connecting the Tenda router to the ISP's modem. To connect the router to the ISP's modem, get the Ethernet cable that comes with the router and connect one end of the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port of the modem. In my case, it is on the back of the modem here. And the other end of the Ethernet cable should be connected to the WAN port of your router. In my case, the WAN port is labeled WAN here. In other models of Tenda routers, on top of the port being labeled, it might also be blue, so just connect the Ethernet cable to it. And now you need to power on the router. To power on the router, connect the power cable to the router and wait for it to power on. Now I wanted to tell you if the router is not new and you need to reset it, then the routers usually have a reset button here on the back of the router. Just press and hold the button for 5 seconds and wait for the LED light to blink rapidly and then release the button and the router will be reset. So in case you bought like a used tender router and you want to set it up. In my case, this is a new router, so I don't need to reset it. Now that the router is connected and powered on, I'm going to show you how to install the Tenda Wi-Fi app on your smartphone, how to get the default SSID and password of the router, and how to set it up. On your smartphone, open App Store or Google Play, and in the search box, type in Tenda Wi-Fi. Click on search, and install the application that is called Tenda Wi-Fi. When the application is installed, Tap on Open and tap on Allow and Allow once again. And here it is telling you to connect to the Wi-Fi network of your Tenda device. At this stage, you need to get the default SSID and password from your Tenda router. It is available on the bottom of the router. So turn it upside down and take the information. So here I got the information. You need now to go to the settings and then Wi-Fi and connect to the Tenda default SSID. So go to the settings on your smartphone and then tap on Wi-Fi and search for the default SSID. So it is Tenda 84-1900. I'm going to connect to the 5G one and put the default password. So in my case, it is after best 502 and tap on join. When the connection is successful, go back to the Tenda Wi-Fi app and it will continue automatically. So here it will detect the connection type of your ISP. If it detected a wrong connection type, just click on other connection types and choose your connection type. For me, it is correct that it is DHCP. So I'm gonna tap on next. And here it is proposing an SSID name and password. You need to change it, of course. Don't ever leave the default ones that come with the router. So let me change here the Wi-Fi name. I'm gonna put KS Tech TV for knowledge sharing tech TV. And for the password, I'm gonna change the password. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna put any password, but in your case, choose a very strong password. So I put here strong pass one, two, three. And notice that there is a check mark saying that set the Wi-Fi password as a login password. So this way you can also manage your router with the same password. I'm going to leave it checked and then I'm going to tap on OK. So now it is enabling the settings and it is rebooting the router. Give it a couple of minutes here. After the router reboots, we're going to get a connection failure. And this is normal because the default SSID no longer exists and we changed it. So here you need to connect to the new SSID that you created. So we're going to go back to settings. And here we need to search for the new SSID. It is KS Tech TV. So this is it here. Tap on it and put the password. And then tap on join. 
Once the connection is successful, go back to the Tenda Wi-Fi app and now tap on how to connect and then close it and here it will tell you a manageable device is found so tap on control now at this stage the initial setup of the router is finished and the router was configured with two SSIDs the first one is KSTEC TV and this is for the 2.4 GHz band and the second one was created automatically by the setup application and it is KSTEC TV underscore 5G and it is for the 5 GHz band and it is using the same password that we put for the 2.4 GHz band but here I'm still want to show you two important things that you might want to configure on your router so let's log in and remember the password is the same as the password for the Wi-Fi band so it is strong pass 123 tap on control now and close this we don't need to create a cloud account now tap on tools on the bottom right corner and the first thing I want to show you is the Wi-Fi name and password so tap on it and here you have the information about the SSIDs so here if you want to unify both SSIDs and leave it to the router to decide if it will connect the device to the 2.4 GHz or the 5 GHz band just tap here and then tap on save I don't want to do this but I want to show you something that is important for security reasons so you notice here that you have the security mode that is WPA2 on both SSIDs we need to change it to WPA3 WPA2 mixed so this way if you have newer devices that use the WPA3 protocol they will connect with this stronger protocol and if you have older devices they will still be able to connect with the WPA2 protocol so here tap on save so this is the first configuration I wanted to show you there's still one other configuration that might be important to you so now you'll get the fail to connect to the router because the router is rebooting just give it a couple of minutes to reboot after the router reboots it will go back directly to the default screen tap on tools once again and here I wanted to show you the guest network in case you want to create a guest network for your guests so that your guests will be on their own network and they cannot sniff the data that is going on your network so tap on guest network and here enable guest network and here it will propose two SSIDs for you one for the 2.4 GHz band and one for the 5 GHz band I'm gonna leave them by default but it is very important to put a password for the guest Wi-Fi network so tap on none here next to guest Wi-Fi password of course use a very strong password and then tap on done and then tap on save and your guests now have their own network of course there are still many settings that you can configure on your tender router but this video was only to show you how to set up your tender router quickly to get it running in no time if you want me to cover the other features of tender routers please leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll be glad to cover the topics you want me to cover by the way, if you want to check out the standard router, I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will help my channel greatly. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly and this way you will not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.